Shit, I'm one of the red cases. Let me know who wants to be the godmother of my kids. Because I'm going to be a saucy mom. Pregnancy is not easy. Brand new Lamborghini. Brand new Lamborghini, fuck a cop car. With a pistol on my hip like I'm a cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever met a real nigga? If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications if you're new to this channel. I don't know. Who? Where? When? At what time? Did someone look this good in their pregnancies? With such a nice skin after using She Desire Coconut Butter. So I got sent this product by She Desire. I've used a little bit on my face. I don't know if you can see how it looks, but I'm going to use a little bit more. It smells really, really nice. I feel like this is quite suitable for dry skin because what it does to you and your skin and you can use it on your hair as well it's really nice so i'm really happy with the surprises oh like listen after you apply this your skin feels so good i can't lie but yeah i couldn't be asked to do my hair today um straight after this i'm going to bed but I just wanted to let you guys know pregnancy is not easy. I haven't had an easy time being pregnant of YouTube motivation. YouTube motivation. Ooh. See, I can't even stand for long. But that's not anything I'm bringing on right now. Period. Anyway, she Desire also sent me the 24 pieces brush set. And I will be using today whilst I tell you my story. How the contraceptives fucked me up. And let's get into the story. Let me remove my belly because I'm going to feel very uncomfortable throughout. But anyways, yeah, all the brushes that I'm going to be using today are by Sheer Desire. So, if you want to purchase it, just go on their website. I'm going to leave the link down below just so you guys can access their products. Um, mind your business when you do see my broken now and just listen to this, yeah. Before I met my boyfriend, yeah. Sorry, just because I'm looking in the mirror. Before I met my boyfriend, I didn't have no worries about... Uh, me taking no contraceptives and etc because my period has always been regular it never even crossed my mind me looking for ways to protect myself in terms of not getting pregnant because um i wasn't active the way i am now in this relationship all right so obviously i met my boyfriend and my life has changed like in every possible way you can think of because me and my boyfriend both came to an agreement where i would obviously have to do something because i was still in college yeah i was still in college when i met him and um i've got plans i've got goals i can't be getting pregnant like that no it's just not the plan i mean if if i was to get pregnant at any point we'll receive the kid with our arms open of course however i'm not ready to be pregnant i'm not yet financially sorted the way i want to be the way i plan to be so never is my boyfriend so we just thought, shit, like, oh, by the way, this was in 2017, yeah, when I met him. So, oh, the brushes feel so, I always hate pills because I just feel like, why am I taking so many pills, yeah? 
in a year let's say if i was to be on the pill here for three years how many pills have i taken i mean the pills is you take throughout 21 days and then seven days that's meant to be your period of time right the break the little break cool so those of you who actually take pills you guys will know about this but i actually hate tablets in general so i feel like pills is just too much and then i couldn't keep up with it regardless of me putting an alarm or something or like a reminder out i couldn't keep up with it so i just thought you know what let me just maybe um look for something else so me and my boyfriend came to an agreement me and my current boyfriend this was in 2017 when i met him yeah we came to an agreement that maybe i should go on the implant just because condoms was going to be a no-no come on like come on we're we're planning to be in a long-term relationship so we're going to be using condoms which i i mean no it, it was just it was just a no yeah cool so i obviously went into the i went to the clinic to find out more about the implant i did my research however one thing i found out is that these clinics now they won't tell you shit i'm gonna stop yeah these clinics now they will not tell you what could possibly happen all they say like their information is very vague so they'll probably say oh yeah like everybody's different everyone acts different bearing in mind i've had friends that have been on it before and um some of them i've had really bad stuff about it but i never thought that it would happen to me so i thought shit like maybe this will be good i know everyone reacts different to things but i will know how i react until i've actually done it so i'm not talking for anyone else's experience i'm talking from from my own experience yeah what is done to me so maybe you're watching and you've had the implant before and it was really good for you in my case let me explain you how this shit went yeah so i must have went there informed myself put on the implant blah 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 so me and my boyfriend our sexual life was you know getting better and better we didn't have much to worry about we used to do our normal you know um checks how so, put on the implant that was the good bit i had nothing to worry about the bad bit now is that once i put it on yeah once i went to the clinic to actually put my implant in bearing in mind i've heard stories about or oh, i put my implant and i had and and i had mood swings and like i've had mad stories about it but it seems like you know i don't want to i don't want to get no injections every three months i don't like needles i mean i'm not the kind of person that'll run away if i have to do it but i don't like them so yeah so far i'm loving these brushes you know shit yeah so obviously i put my implant cool on my side of the activity it was perfect but on the other side cool. the first three months of my implant being in my arm i had period i had a period for three months period was obviously a normal period for the first week but then for the rest of these three months i was just sporting and that was so uncomfortable so 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 uncomfortable like because how the hell am i gonna be on my period for six months like who wants that for their lives do you know what i mean i was like no like it's just a no from me it's just ridiculous yeah so i thought let me go back to the clinic and let them know that i've been on my period for a really long time now and it's a little bit uncomfortable so i went back to the clinic and i let them know um excuse me i have actually been on my period for so long for like i've been not proper period and the woman was like to me oh yeah that's fine is normal uh, one thing i realized yeah everything in this country is normal like if i was to now yeah feel a headache a really bad headache for a whole week this country will turn around to you and say 
it's normal if i was to now yeah feel a really sharp pain in my belly this country would turn around to you and say it's normal everything is normal to them funny how it's a fun fact because i don't understand what's normal about a pain from the time someone is feeling some sort of pain that is not normal you've got to investigate what is going on at least in portugal which is the country where i was born i'm sorry but if something is wrong with you they're not gonna make you sit there for ages do you know what i mean they're not gonna say oh, i'll go back home they're not gonna you know not say it's normal because they know it's not normal so they're probably gonna investigate they want to tell you what to do next the way they treat you yeah the way they treat you in here is ridiculous it's like they want you to die first to then say oh shit she was actually suffering do you know what i mean this is why a lot of people go to the hospital and they lie a lot of people go to places and they have to lie to get away with things just for the simple fact that these people don't take you serious if you go and say oh i'm feeling pain here they won't take you serious back to what i was saying they was telling me it was normal to be on my period for three months so i was thinking in my head yeah how the hell is this normal but i was still calm yeah cool after three months my period went my spotting stopped but when it stopped it stopped like as in it didn't come back anymore and i've heard stories of people that will basically be on their implant but their period still comes every once in a while my one completely stopped but i thought nothing of it because i went back to the to the hospital to the um, sorry i went back to the same sexual clinic where they've obviously inserted the implant in my arm and they're telling me oh it's normal people were, and the woman was like oh you're very lucky she was like to me um you're very lucky that your period is not coming you're one of the rare cases because your period is not coming usually your period will come you're one of the rare cases so i thought oh shit anyway i thought shit i'm one of the rare cases <laughs> i felt very special i can't lie i was like oh shit like this must be a good thing since i'm one of the rare cases she was like yeah because some people their period doesn't stop blah 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 blah, blah. but that was kind of me at the beginning like my period did not stop for three months but anyways i didn't think of it like that i was just living my best life i was like shit like i get to be on this implant for three years with nothing to worry about i can study i can do everything i want to do yeah without having to worry that a baby is on the way yeah that's how i thought about it and then here's what happens next i was going to be on this implant for three years until i decided that i needed to go and get a breast surgery so after reading like the the guidelines of what clinic hub needed me to do prior to my surgery one of the guidelines was you can't be in no contraceptives so i had to go back to the clinic and take it out they didn't want me to take it out they was like oh do you want us to put anything else i don't know what it is it's like they're scared of people having babies it's like i don't know what it is yeah because anyways yeah whatever but she was like oh but i was like to her no the only reason why i came here in the first place to take it out is because the clinic i'm going to for my surgery is saying i can't um be on any sort of contraceptive to start with and then she was like oh okay that's fine when you come back from your surgery uh if you wanna if you change your mind that's what she said if you change your mind um come back here and we will put the implant for you or we will put the coil and i said you ain't putting nothing up my vagina you really ain't do you know what i mean but anyways like she took they took it out on that day and this was one month prior to my actual surgery so this was last year in december sometime because my surgery happened this year in january yeah i went and got my surgery done all this this that all good i went there had nothing and everything was fine i was safe my surgery went well if you haven't watched the actual vlog just go watch it uh oh thanks that vlog actually got 4k yesterday and i was surprised i was like mm, okay Hmm, I'm not came back from my surgery yeah in january and bear in mind i have no implant in my arm 
right? So prior to the surgery, when I took out the implant, that one month, yeah, I couldn't get pregnant. Because if I did get pregnant, I wouldn't not be able to have my surgery. So me and my boyfriend had to, you know, sacrifice and just, you know, use the rubbers. Even though it was very painful and we're not used to it. Uh, we actually had to sacrifice because obviously I had the surgery coming and we didn't want nothing to ruin that. And I didn't want to lose my deposit. So I thought, shit, okay, cool, let's just, you know, do this effort and cool. Once I'm back from my surgery, I'll think about, you know, maybe putting the implant back in or something like that. So we obviously did that sacrifice. And um, tell me why. I come back from my surgery, yeah? Two months have gone by, my period doesn't come. Three months, my period doesn't come. So I thought, shit, like, I haven't got no implant in my arm, so why isn't my period coming, right? Cool. So I went back to the, so I called the, what's it, the um, clinic, and I told them, and the woman was like, oh no, no, you can't blame it on the implant. It does nothing wrong to you. That's what she was saying to me. You can't blame it on the implant. It does nothing wrong to you. You've just had a surgery as well. It may be some sort of, you know, complication within your surgery or something like that and i'm thinking in my head okay <laughs> cool you're saying it's not the implant yeah cool i'm gonna call my doc i'm gonna call the gp and i'm gonna try and ask them to you know see what's going on so i obviously called the gp and they've gone and told me uh what you're gonna do next is bear in mind this is three months without my period after i took out my implant i mean yeah four months now because obviously yeah yeah four months so i've contacted them because i'm starting to get worried in my head i'm just thinking why isn't my period here so i called and they was like to me so what you're gonna do next is you're gonna have intercourse for two weeks with your partner and you're gonna keep taking pregnancy tests but make sure when you're having intercourse, you have it with condom. So we were just like, okay, cool. We're going to do that then. So we did that. And every test will come back negative. And bearing in mind, we wasn't actually trying to have it. Yeah, we wasn't trying. But at the same time, it's like, after my surgery, I thought, I'm not going to get myself back on the, the implant if my period still hasn't come it just doesn't make sense and even the clinic itself told me we can't advise you no further contraception if until you know what is going on with you and i thought yeah that makes sense so the only choice i had was to really use condom anyway so me and my boyfriend did that yeah we used the condom for two weeks and i kept taking pregnancy tests here and there and all of them was coming back negative spoke to the clinic sorry i called back the gp after the two weeks and i told them that i did what they told me to do and obviously the test is coming back negative and i knew myself anyways i wasn't pregnant but anyways i told them and it was like okay so next step is you're gonna have to come in for blood tests and scans and i thought oh, okay let's do this there's me overthinking bears i was like what the hell is going on with me because no woman wants to ever hear you can't have children and i was like if i'd never put the implant i would have never gone through what i'm going through now if that makes sense what i was going through at that moment so i went for my blood tests and uh they called me back with the results and they was like to me, oh, one of your hormones is too high. And I said to them, hey, is this something to be worried about? Because I never had any of these problems before. And they were like, oh, this may be the cause why you, you're not getting periods. And I said, well, you All right now. I don't know if I said this at the beginning, but my period has always been regular prior to me putting the implant. Always. Ever since it started, I started. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. This is nothing to worry about, blah, blah, blah. But we're still going to have to make sure that this is really what it is. 
so you're gonna have to repeat your blood tests and um and come in for the scans just you know to double check if the insides had nothing wrong so i thought what can i do in it what, what, okay let me just go so obviously like they didn't require me to repeat the blood test they just used the same test that i've done before and they said that it was still the same results that one of my hormones was a bit higher than it should be not too high but it was higher than it should be we're gonna get you to come in for a scan but what we're gonna do is uh oh wait i was forgetting the main bit about this so after that woman told me have sex with a condom for two weeks and keep taking pregnancy tests i did that and bearing in mind that i called the gp and i told them the tests keep coming back negative it's been what like she said okay we're gonna have to get you to come to some blood tests and scans but because the whole coronavirus situation was going on she was like oh we're gonna contact you you know how long it took for them to contact me it took them ages for them to actually contact me yeah because i can't lie um when i contacted them it was four months into me not having my period now they contacted contacted me back into eight months yeah eight months into me not having my period saying about the blood test they basically put me onto some medication guys that would have to provoke my period because obviously like it's been 10 months now that my period wasn't coming and i thought shit like what is going on and you know what it's all their fault because i contacted them saying that my period wasn't coming at four months but yet they kept delaying things and saying oh we're gonna call you back and we've got to call you back to tell you what to do next we're gonna call you back to tell you what to do next it's not like i can attend appointments so all i was doing really was just waiting for them to get back to me so obviously they stretched it to 10 months when they could have given me these tablets a long time ago from the time i told them i'm not pregnant because you lot told me to you know keep checking for two weeks they could have said that to me yet the woman is calling me saying oh so you haven't had this was a whole different person yeah saying oh so you haven't had your your period for 10 months this can be cancerous oh so now you're trying to scare me this can be cancerous yeah because it's not healthy at all for a, for a young woman not to have their period you know what i mean that's why a lot of girls have like irregular period and they have to go through some treatments they've always got to go and check themselves and etc some people struggle to conceive so i don't want it to come to a point where i'm ready to have a kid and i'm trying but i'm not being able to actually conceive i didn't even know these things existed so they've gone and put me in a tablet that basically provoked my period to come the pains were major because obviously like my period wasn't coming for ages it didn't come for like what it's actually more than 10 months you know if you think about it because i took out my implant last year in december yet i'm not having a period until like october this year do you know what i mean so i was like shit like what the hell like however let's not even count with the time that i actually had my implant and my period didn't come so i'm just gonna think of it like no maybe it's because i had my implant in yeah that my body you know that my hormones changed that my period didn't come that's how i feel about it i know i wouldn't have gone through all this stress if i never went on the implant in the first place and us girls we need to be very careful with the kind of things that this shit does to our bodies because it's not safe for us not to have a period and even though i never used to like taking the pills they were one of the most safest pills and condoms really in terms of like you having complications afterwards i feel like the pills were fine to me until i actually went on the implant and it messed me up messed my hormones up my body didn't like it and it didn't react good to it
I'm not gonna go on any more shit because what if it does something wrong to me? Like I'm so paranoid now because obviously like this because the um, implant has obviously done what it done to me. So now I'm paranoid on if I do go on another contraceptive, then what's gonna happen next? Like I'm just scared. So I'm not even gonna think about going on to any other thing anymore. I mean, you know. I'm not gonna be using condoms with my partner because just because he's my partner. I mean, do you know what I mean? Um, there's no way. Um, and I don't know if I should go on a pill. Obviously, like, if my period now starts coming regularly like it was before, then I might, I might you know, consider the pill again. But um, I'm not sure if I want to now. If it happens, it happens. I mean... We're not gonna say no if we have a child, do you know what I mean? We're not gonna move mad. First of all, we're against abortion and we know what we're doing. We're old enough to know what the con what this comes with. That's basically what happened to me. I didn't have a good experience with my implant. I thought I was having a good experience, but I wasn't. Because obviously when I took it out, that's when I saw the complications. I'm not gonna do too much makeup i just did this just so i could you know review these sheer desire makeup brushes they're actually amazing i love the pack where they come on they are very good for they're travel friendly so if you was to to travel you can take this with you and yeah bitch i mean let me know what you guys think in the comments about this situation because i feel like the clinic needs to if they know that that thing could possibly do something wrong to people, then why even promote it? Why say, oh, come, like, why? Like, obviously, not everybody is the same. My body reacted bad to this, but some bodies may react good. Let me know, because it's interesting, it's interesting for the girls to sometimes talk about what goes on with our bodies and alert other girls. It's not safe. You never know what could possibly happen to your body after this so we've got to be very careful on what kind of things we're putting onto our bodies because me trust me i'm not putting the implant ever again mm -mm. so girls stay woke look after yourselves look after your waps get a bucket in the mouth for the wap <laughs> but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you go like comment share and subscribe comment down below things you want to see now i'm going to try and upload things at least twice a week just so you guys get more consistency and um uh, oh, actually look cute though huh? Huh? damn mama i'm basically pregnant again oh i got my youtube pregnancy motivation with me now i look good I, I know when i'm pregnant i'm gonna be such a great mom i can see it like you know i can really see it but hope you guys enjoyed it let me know who wants to be the godmother of my kids because i'm going to be a saucy mom with a wet ass pussy so you gotta bring a bucket in the mouth for this wet ass pussy. Wait for your times. Uh, whenever things happen, they happen. Don't force it because pregnancies are not a trend. Um, it is whenever God gives you. And look after your bodies, okay? Because if you don't look after your bodies now, then maybe you could have complications later. Um... Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week in next week videos.